It's, um, I mean, times are changing. I mean, you've been around for a long time, my friend. I remember the first time I ever saw you fight, it was a, ba- a backyard bare knuckle fight in the Kimbo Slice days. That was the first time I heard about you. And then I saw you fight Eve Edwards in Bodog. Yeah. I remember oof. Bodog fight. Those yeah. Are, those are golden ages. The right? golden wow. ages, man. That was a while ago. <laughs> Damn, it's crazy. Like, Bodog fight was a fun organization. Was Kane Velasquez fun. fought there. Yeah. Chael Sonnen fought there. Yeah. Eddie Alvarez. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Fedor. Fedor had a fight over there. Fedor had a fight over there. Brad Pickett as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mike Brown. Yeah. What What happened with them? They went under because of the, the whole gambling rules online changed, right? Not from what like, I heard. From no? what I heard was the spending budget. I, well, this is what I what I heard. Um, Calvin Air, there was the owner of Bola, yeah. right? He put up this huge budget. And these are just rumors from what I heard from the people working, you know. But it was like $100 million for X, Y, Z amount of years to get them publicity so people would see the fights and then go to the casino. Uh, and that $100 million got blown out like in two, three years is what I heard. Oh. And I wouldn't disagree because they used to pay me really good and give us super perks. They used to give us some super perks, you know. Take us to exotic locations to fight, be there for two weeks. You plus two, they'd fly out, take care of you. They really, really took very good care of you. So when I heard that they blew out 100 million in three years, I was like, yeah, it could be, you know. <laughs> well, they were fighting on the beach with hot girls in bikinis, yeah. wandering around dancing. Yeah. But you were on the beach, like in the sun. I was like, what the, who the fucking idea is oh. it to fight in the sun? But let me tell you, the training sessions that went on there were some of the best that I've seen in the world because they. It, so you would go and you'd bring two of your corner men and then somebody found that and then before you know it, you had like four people of your entourage going with you from whatever team that was and everybody was doing that and we'd have a, a training place and what they had done was laid out tarps and mats and it was huge so we'd have like 100 pros 50 pros from all all over the world just training you know and wow. when you don't know each other and it's like hey you want to roll you know it gets competitive you know yeah so there was some great training sessions that i saw and that i that i took a part of you know Wow. Yeah, it was fun, man. Good fucking time. Look, the the world needs more of those. They need more one FCs. We need yeah. more Bellators. We need more, you know. Competition. Pro- whatever the professional fight league is called now. What do they call themselves now? Professional fighters league. Is that what it is? It's PFL. It used to be World Series of Fighting. That's right. Yeah, we need more. We need more of them. Oh, so PFL is World Series of Fighting. It used to be World Series. Now it's PFL. Okay. Yeah, I think pretty sure most of the same organization. Okay. Yeah. Do you need? We need more. You know, I need more money. Yeah, that Oscar De La Hoya thing. You know that that's probably never going to happen again after the the Tito and Chuck fight. It doesn't look like, but someone of that ilk, someone like a Golden Boy Promotions, they started getting involved in MMA and putting together. They could get some guys that aren't signed but are super high level with a big name. Like maybe the contract comes up and they decide to do something with yeah. a big name promoter. You know, it'd be good for everybody. 